Hello, you fabulous divine creature. Happy December. Here is your December astrology. In the meantime, have you watched Written in the Stars Discovery Plus? You can also find it on Sky and Amazon Prime. I'm so proud of it. I hope you get a chance to watch it. Give me your feedback and share if you love it. This month, one of the main things that's happening is Jupiter is going back into Aries. So even though Mars is retrograde and we're a bit like, Ugh, the our energy is maybe a little bit frustrated, Jupiter can give us a different set of wings and we can start to feel passionate about the future again. Mercury does go retrograde at the end of the month. So sort things out before that. Here's your monthly astrology. Hi, fabulous Cancer. You have a golden opportunity at the beginning of this month to shift and change some patterns and habits and to look at your health and well-being and balance everything up to really shift forward in a huge way. You know, what I find really surprising and constantly delighting is when we change something small, a tiny routine, it can have huge and vast impact on our life. And you're going to get that this month. There's something you're doing. Essentially, you might even be doing it in connection to a relationship. You might be doing it in connection to a spiritual practice or into your creativity in the world. But whatever it is, it can have a massive impact. So really take time out at the beginning of the month to kind of meditate, to check out all your routines. What do you do every day? Do you do the same thing day in and day out? If so, we go into perpetual motion, right? So we're, we're, there is no space for the magic and miracles to come in. So just see what you can tweak and what you can transform, even the smallest thing, and you'll notice huge results. We have Venus opposing Mars on the first, and for you, you might feel yourself drawn to somebody or something that's the opposite of you. Normally, you might not go it. Normally, normally you might feel, oh, you know, I'm going to really weigh up uh, the pros and cons of making this decision. But there's this sort of desire for passion. And ultimately, when Venus sextiles Saturn, you're going to commit to something. Could be a job, could be to do with your career, could be to do with making money, could be to do with you stepping into your power but whatever it is, you are ready to step into it. There is commitment there with Saturn and there's desire there with Venus. So that's very, very powerful. And Neptune is stationing, stationing direct. When Neptune goes retrograde, goes backwards, unlike some of the other retrogrades, um, which can be troublesome, Neptune retrograde allows us to focus on our dreams, but it does stop us sort of fantasizing. And when we fantasize and when we use our imagination, that's how we create magic. And when Neptune goes direct, you'll find that your imagination is back on full force and you're dreaming maybe about traveling, exploring, or potentially studying something. Now we're heading into a fabulous season for you, which will end up being the peak of your love year. And it's slowly starting to happen with Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your love, harmony, intimate relationships, any kind of partnerships, any one-to-one -one dynamics. And uh, suddenly you can speak more clearly, you can listen more clearly, you can relate to someone in a much easier way. And that is whew, even more exaggerated when we have Venus, the planet of love and abundance, also going into that space. And we're heading towards the end of the month with the sun going there and a new moon going into that energy. So there is this sense of, okay, now I am ready to step into my relationships in a more loving and a harmonious way. Uh, the full moon on the eighth can be a bit tricky because you might be feeling really sensitive. You might be feeling, ah, you know, you could pick up everybody's feelings. You might even get a bit, you know, ah, paranoid or a sense of, oh, you know, what's going on. But also you'll be very intuitive. So you have to sort of, with that full moon, you have to work out what is my intuition, right? And what is oversensitivity? If you can do that, if you can hold space for that energy without reacting, because unfortunately, or fortunately, Mars is right on that moon. So for all of us, it's a tricky day because we're going to react more than we normally would. We're, we're, our energy is all really, really raw on that day. But you may have a spiritual or psychic revelation. It's also a supremely magical day for you. Um, so after Venus enters Capricorn, we're starting to build up and we're heading towards interesting things happening in your one-to-one -one relationships and your romantic zone. 
So if you're not interested in relationships, it can be one-to-one -one friendships. It can be anything that involves you and another person or being. You know, a stray cat may come into your life. It can be this new union that brings you harmony. Or you could fall in love with someone unexpected. It's very interesting. But basically, all the way through this energy, you're feeling more connected within yourself. You're feeling more harmony within yourself. And as we know, when we feel harmony and balanced within ourselves, that's when we can have more successful relationships because we've already got our center. So we can respond appropriately. We can, we can attract appropriately. So that's very positive for you. Finally, the new super moon is an opportunity for you to step into a new phase when it comes to love, relationships, partnerships of all kinds. And there's, if, you, if you want to manifest any of those energies, that is the new moon to do it. Uh, and you're feeling generally much more positive by the end of this month. Although, of course, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going full retrograde on the 29th. So anything you want to say, get it said. If you could do that before the 12th, even better. But ultimately, this December is packed with potential. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. I've had my psychic company for over 20 years. I've always been exceptionally picky about who I have on my team. My psychics are incredible people. They're all emotionally intelligent. They give a very accurate and specific reading and they're all beautiful and different in their own right. So we got our fabulous psychics here. My psychics go through five rigorous tests, including one with me. And then we get to meet. I love meeting the readers. And we make a film showcasing their unique skills. Sharon P. Hello. <laughs> We're doing filming. So are you uh, excited? Just relax, be yourself. Open up your heart. So if you feel that you're accurate, you're emotionally intelligent, and your heart really wants to empower your clients, then we'd love you to apply and come for a test with us.